boys. Hi. Ooh. I had that wop. This that black pussy. Nah. I don't know if you know about that black pussy, but once you go black, you will never go back. Oh. What's up? Assalamu alaikum. Why are y'all surprised that, like, niggas be surprised that hood hoes will mess with white dudes? That's not surprising to me. Them bras gonna mess with anybody who got the paper. Any, in general, women gonna mess with anybody who got that paper, got power. It ain't really too much loyalty out here from from women. It's really not. If you got the bag and you got money, power, respect, they're going to get at you. But you, you got a good, you know, uh, quality of black women who, out here who really just only mess with black men at the end of the day. But it's not your ratchets. It's not your ratchets. You have a good quality amount of black women who say, no, I'm only going to mess with my black man because my black man shall only be messing with my black woman. And shout out to them. You got a, you got a good quality of those women, but those are not the ratchets. You know, the ratchets are not the representatives for the whole black woman community. They're not. So it shouldn't be surprising that ratchets, hood, hood rat hoes, will mess with a white dude. They going for anybody with the bag and money. That's that's it. So seeing the uh who who, who what's them hoes name? Uh city girls. Seeing the city girls talk about some oh hey. Why, I like white boys too. I know you do. And and a lot of times these ratchets mess with white boys who just trash anyway. So that lets you know that even though you know a lot of these ratchets will mess with anybody who got the bag, really the white boy thing is really just a fetish thing. These ratchets is messing with these white boys thing is really a fetish thing it's really a low sense of self-worth thing because they'll mess with some of the trashiest white boys i know y'all seen the story that recently came out where the, the 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 black chick was messing with the white dude and the he was beating the children so bad he, he beat one of the children so bad that he killed him and they put him in a closet and let his let left his body there to rot and the kids were still in the house not being fed being starved to death and Nobody did nothing. You can smell you can smell the smell of the rotting body coming out the apartment. And and the family, the black and the white the black woman and the white dude moved somewhere to a different apartment and was leaving the kids over there, not feeding them, and the black woman was just letting this go on. This is what I mean. They have a low sense of self worth. A lot of these ratchet hoes in the hood, they got a low sense of self worth. And they see white it's just like a lot of immigrant black women you know we got to be real about that it's just like a lot of immigrant black women there are some real ones out there just like there's some real ones you know in, in the in our black community in the fba community but it's some immigrant black women many of them they worship white daddy they worship him so they will get with any trash white man it's the same with the ratchets here in the hood hoods of america a lot of them, they say they'll go for the bag, and they probably will if they could get it. But most part, they messing with trash white dudes who do things like I just mentioned, who on drugs, who alcoholics. You know, I know this chick in my job. I remember one day, you know, we were just talking around. I had my homies with me, and I was like, "So, you, do you have you ever messed with a white dude?" And she gonna sit up here and say, "No, I don't mess with white dudes. They stuff be pink." When she said that, she's a ratchet. She's a ra colored hair, uh, the whole nine, eyelashes, nails, the whole nine, city girl, real hot girl stuff. City girl to the fullest. And the whole time she said, I'm like, this broad is lying. And sure enough, later on, like some months later, she messing with some Mexican dude or part Mexican dude who we know they classify themselves as white. Now, if I was to come to her and say, you messing with a white dude, that's a white dude. She gonna sit up here and say, nah, -uh, he's colored, he's brown. So they even, they'll try to get slick with it and think they being slick with it when they're not. I know what it is, she know what it is. It's, it comes from a low sense of self-worth and they worship white men and they feel like if they get with white men, somehow it elevates them ab above the Negro class. Somehow they're better 
than everybody else and and they're not and they end up just getting treated like crap so the city girl saying that and the, at their little concert i like white boys too yeah that's not surprising we know and so when you say that that lets me know what you are who you are even before you even said that i know what you are and who you are you a city girl you want some real high girl stuff so you down to do anything and if you really like white boys then i know what you want you're on ghetto gagger supreme mode that's what you're on but that's all i wanted to say i'm out assalamu alaikum